hello guys welcome back to my channel and thanks a lot for subscribing to my channel today we are going to learn about laravel apis so without wasting any time let's directly make a simple api uh, basically in laravel if we want to create a new route we use web.php but to create an api we use api.php let's create a here and simple a simple api for example route gate testing and a function callback function here for now i will just return an string like this is a test api so let's serve our project php artisan serve okay now let's copy this and paste it in our postman uh, after that we have to write slash api and <clears throat> the api that we just created for example this one i'm going to copy and paste it here As you guys can see, uh, my string has been returned in the postman and it's showing the same thing that we wrote here. So right now let's create a model controller and migration and add some data to our database so we can test another APIs. So let's uh, open a new terminal in here and uh, let's make a model php artisan make model and uh, let's call it product with migration and controller so, now let's add some columns to our migration for example i will add a string column name it name and another column integer and value one more and this one is also integer and i will call it quantity that's it let's run the migration okay let's check our database that is it created yeah, yeah as you guys can see here is my table so first uh, first thing first let's add some data to our table using our api so in here uh, i will delete this right here route post because we want to add products in our table so we use post method and i will name it add product in here i will use products controller class and my uh, i will give it a method name for example adding let's go to inside our contr uh, product controller now in here let's create our method public function our product name and in here i will write request dollar sign request in here i will create a new object of products so and i will say items dash name is equal to request what we get from the postman so i i will write it here also name and here also we had three columns name value and quantity i will write value here i will write quantity
and now at the end I will just say save so our controller is ready our API is ready let's post a data from our postman so in our postman uh, in here I am going to write my newly created API which is add product and inside body form data I will write my column name which was name I will write it first product the value would be a 30 and quantity would be like 60 now let's press the send button hmm, we got an error unknown column quantity okay we must type the quantity column so let's go back to product controller and fix this let's go to our postman here also now let's press the send button again so we didn't get any error let's check our database yeah we got the data now let's return something for user to understand that the data has been added successfully so to do that i will create here return response json and i will write here my message for example added successfully okay now let's uh, send our data one more time here we got the message that it's added successfully and let's check the database again so we see we see that it's added now let's uh, try to edit for example i want to edit this second uh, my second product how, let's see how we can do that to create an edit we use put method like this route put now edit product same i will write product controller here class and my method name so let's create our method i will copy it and go to product controller uh, same thing we did with adding i will write here public function my method name and request dollar sign request in here items is equal to my model name which is product and i will write here find or fail and i will say request dash id this id we will get from our post uh, that the user send so the rest is, uh, is exactly same let's copy it's easier to copy than write writing again and paste and in the state of added successfully updated successfully and one more thing here in the state of save you have to write update so my method is ready my api is ready now let's move to postman and check our edit api so in here i am going to write my newly created uh, api which is edit product copy now let's paste it here and this uh, the type should be put because we added put in here the type of our api is put and we select put from here now to send it we have to use x form url encoded so i'm going to write the id which is two and uh, my uh, column i will write then my name the product name will be changed product and value also i will write for example 23 and the quantity
will be 1. So now let's press the send button. You see we got the message updated successfully. Now let's check our database. So it's been changed. Now let's try the how we can delete our product. So let's start by creating the route the API for it. I will write route delete and I will name it delete product. Same thing I'm going to call my product controller. and delete so now let's create the method here in here uh, also i'm going to use a request dollar sign request same thing that we did with up edit dollar sign items is equal to uh, my model name and find or fail same thing exactly dollar sign id and in here i will just write delete and i will return also this message deleted successfully so now let's our uh, postman, our, our newly created API with postman. So copy this and and uh, let's paste it inside the postman in here. Now I don't need the here quantity. I will delete it. Same value I don't need. I only need the ID which is do, uh, second. Uh, and let's press the send button. So the put uh, oh, we forgot to change the type here. So now let's uh, send again. So we got the message deleted successfully. Next, now let's check our database here. Refresh. Yeah, we we can see that it's uh, deleted. So uh, one more method is remaining, which is get to get uh, the list of our product. What we write we write here for example get data our uh, api and same our product controller class and in here get data our method name let's copy this let's go to our product controller and now let's write it here public function get data in here we don't uh, actually we can use request and uh, dollar sign request but we don't need it so in here i am going to again write items is equal to my model name which is a product pro that and i will write all to fetch all of them and in here i will i am going to return again this one but this time I'm going to return the item. So now let, uh, let's go to our postman and check our last API. So let's say gate and let's press the send button. As you guys can see we get our product so this is it for this video please uh, like and subscribe to my channel because uh, our next video will be uh, uh, on how we can create a new user and how we can use laravel sanctum which is very important for the security purposes thanks a lot see you guys on the next video